Number? No, just in case we fucked them up. No, I'll be right. it's, I, it's weird. Some people love that. Some people. Hello. Hey. <laughs> uh, uh, welcome to Axe to Grind, uh, episode something. Twenty three. Twenty three. Uh, bro- I'm Patrick. Tom. I'm Bob. And this podcast is brought to you by our friend at Triple B Records. That's Triple B Records. Dot Limited Run. Dot com. Enter the promo code Axe to Grind. Spell it out for a ten percent discount off your entire order. And uh, pick up something from the old catalog. Uh, and a shirt. And a shirt. I like the shirt so much. I, I hate saying that because it makes it feel like, oh, don't fuck with the... No, but, I, but the shirts, the shirts are cool. have nothing to do with the label. Yeah, and they're, they're fun. fun. They're fun. Yeah. So fun. Intellectual lion. Yeah, I love it. I know. So Next. Okay. Uh, this is a music episode. That means that it's that thing that you like, fam. We- it's more than a music episode. It is a listening party. Welcome back. And it's new, new. Yeah, music. this is shit that is relatively new. Uh, we're gonna try not to go back too much. Uh, it's maybe some of these you missed though, so we'll we'll hit them in that respect. Uh, we we want to kick this off. We want to get right to the shits. Yeah, let's get right in. Okay. Guess what we got for you? Blind justice. Exclusive, no matter the cost. <laughs> you knew. Bow, bow, bow. Bow. <laughs> All right, raging hardcore. Mm-hmm. Don't stop now. There's something to be said for li- bands that have lyrics that are uh, not direct, intelligible. <laughs> oh, oh, is that sure. the word? Sure. Y- you want them intelligible? Yes. yes. Yeah. There's something to be said for that. It's yeah. like I know what this guy's singing about. Yeah. Good mosh part. <laughs> I think that might be Aja. Really? That's hard. I need a mosh part. It's coming. Mm. This no, is you're gonna, gonna speed up, up right? I, I mean, this is. There's I like build the part, up. but it's gonna have to go. I mean, it's definitely gonna be a mosh part. This is 1995. This would just be all talking. Yes. Yes. And I'm getting angry. Yes. Loud part. Mosh. Uh, yeah, you can get down with this. Yeah. yeah. This is a groove mosh. Yeah. You might even hear a woo at, this, at yes. a show for this part. Yes. Well, I like the pickup. Yeah. And this is recorded with um, Dean, right? Yep. Dean? Yep. That sounds awesome. Good. All right. Good. Yep. Three different mosh parts. I'm in for all. Not yeah, bad. it is. All right. Is that your first time here in Blind Justice? Yeah, it is. Okay. What do you think? Uh, not what I expected. Uh, there's a couple. Wait, stop. It's so much more interesting. What did you expect? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I guess I expected uh, fucking Southern Band that's now an LA band. Um, oh, yes. Criminal, uh, criminal Instinct. Criminal, I expected Criminal Instinct. And this isn't a million miles away. It, it, it's just I, I expected exactly that. No. No, this, I heard uh, some, I guess what used to get called modern hardcore, I heard some like AN sort of shit in there, but mm-hmm. then but then I also heard, obviously, like no warning sort of shit in like there. Like backtrackish. Yeah, kind of oh stuff. yeah, sure. DTN. DTN, oh, DTN too, DTN. I can hear that too. That's that one mosh part, that's a DTN part. Okay, uh, that was good. I, I wasn't mad at any of that. I th- When it first started, I was game, then that, like the actual meaty, the meat 
I was like, mm, this, yeah. is, this is a little not. And Too fast for you. Yeah, it was yeah. not fast, but it was, it was like more modern than I was expecting and not in a way that I loved. And then it fell into a couple stone grooves that I was not mad at. What was it? What was it? Everybody else's opinion. I liked it. I think that they're a good. No, they're my boys. Um, I'm really psyched on it. I think that they were able to kind of do what they're doing. This is their second LP, and so you think about what they're gonna do, how they're gonna do it. I think they were able to pull off having faster songs. Everything's kind of just amped up a little bit. Um, I thought that this one was a great example. Like. Would you say there's like three different parts to this song? I would say three. Uh, but it, it, but the transitions within the song work. Absolutely. Yeah. And it, it feels like I mean, a coherent also, thought. You it's know? also because it's doing a thing that I like. The transitions work because they're telegraphed and long. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and I'm into that, but not, everybody, like else, not everybody is. No, I like the drum roll kind of build up thing. Yeah, cool. absolutely. That's I, one I'm of my into favorite. That yeah. That's like a really traditional kind of thing and you yeah. don't hear it. By my taste, Blind Justice is like pretty mid tempo y kind of band. Yes. Yeah. But by the world that they circle in and a lot of like hardcore right now, they're, they're really fast. Yeah. Oh, really is that fast. right? Yeah. Like, like, on if, comparatively. If, if we drop them, there's stuff on this today that we're going to listen to that is, uh, yes, true. I mean, they roll with like Trail of Lies. So they put okay. a lot of shows yeah, Trail of Lies. Then, then they're is, like a fucking this, grindcore band. Exactly. Compared to them, yeah, know? exactly. Yeah, yeah, the Trail of Lies uh, yeah. record release show, which probably will have happened when you hear this, is. Uh, or maybe it's about to, is Trail of Lies regulate Blind Justice, You're the Knife. So Blind Justice is, yeah, they're the grind core band. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, and when's this come out? This comes out end of in, June. yeah, end of June, the record release show. They're doing a record release weekend with DTN, um, doing wilkes Bear, The Shore, and Richmond. Give me perspective, because I mm-hmm. don't know. This is not a knock. No, no. People like it? Like, do they have fans, fans? They do. They've been quiet. Okay. Uh, Undertow came out in 2015, end of 2015, 2016. Okay. They did a full US on 2016 on it, did full Europe. So they played out on it. Problem, 500 copies of the record pressed. Mm, it's a problem. Problem on a label that doesn't exist really anymore. Okay. Mass movement. Yeah. Um, Problem, same thing happened with their 7-inch. Seven 7-inch seven came out on back-to-back to back to back records. Labels stopped being active shortly thereafter. Right. So it wasn't really getting out there. Do you think that I've, matters much in, in this digital era? age? Yeah. <gasps> Only a little. They certainly get the streams. Mm. You know, you can go yeah. look at their stream numbers. They're pretty good. They don't tour as much. Um, it's an interesting conversation about them. This is a band who, in 2013, I think... The tour was Turnstile, Turnover, Angel Dust, Blind Justice. No shit. Wow. Yeah. I oh God, I love this shit. I really. It's love interesting how to think about. I, it. I love how mixed bills and I. That's a cool looking mixed ba- bill. Looking back yeah. on things, I think that shit is so fun when you get the perspective. You and know? Blind Justice has been doing their thing, and there's been things that have kind of. They've been around for a minute since 2012, and it's 2018. Yeah. So yeah, you know, um, and uh, no, I think they're cool, and they certainly have energy. I hope that people get behind this more. It's coming out on Flat Spot and uh, Edgewood. Edgewood. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah. Oh, I think it'll get out there. Yeah, I think if they dedicated themselves to it, they could be a big <laughs> band in hardcore. And then, you know, and there's a place for the band who can only do it part time. And- oh, hey, no, of course, of course, of course. But yeah, I think- but like I always say, when I see that, I always go like, if you got chops, just spend the two years being like devoting yourself to something because yeah look i get it life takes you in different directions maybe you get pregnant or something i i get it but like you know it's uh sometimes going all in on something that is destined to implode Mm -hmm. is a spiritual journey of its own seriously thank you mr miyagi no i mean like no you're right no i'm not disagreeing you you know know. people some people think that everything's got a result in, in like in something that is tangible and yes big. I know those people and yeah you, you <laughs> we've met them and I, I just don't think life's like that you know what I mean no. so whatever uh, Blind Justice give it give it fucking three years of intense fucking you know Pat's about to go bane on you ruin give your blood. credit ruin your credit what do um, we got next up rule them all rule them all uh, new newer mm-hmm. LIHC Long Island hardcore band Okay, yeah. Uh, so this release, uh, this alignment of polarity is very new at the time of this recording. Yeah. And 
Uh, I didn't realize, I know one of the fellas in this band, uh, shout out to John. Uh, we're going to give this a go. Uh, I'm going to choose the short song. Do you think we're going to lose anything in that? No. Okay, then let's give it a fucking go. This song is called, this is Rule Them All, which is a hard name. It is a hard name. You would imagine mosh parts. Yep. Not a lot of mosh parts. Okay. But then you realize it's from Lord of the Rings, yeah. and it's dorky. Yeah, and it's, it's nerds. awesome. Nerds. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this song is called Lukewarm. It's the short one on alignment of polarity. Hopefully, it fucking rips. There's something specific in the vocal they're hitting there. Harley. A little bit, there's something more. This is really odd because this is not hard, but that's kind of a hard voice. Yeah. You know, there's something that's very specific with me to think of. Especially the way. What do you think? Are you thinking, uh, like not like bold a little bit? A little bit? No, 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 no. I'm thinking, more, I'm thinking initial scene. Something from like that. Could be. A little bit like automatic, to be honest. Sure. But they're not referencing that. The vocals are something else. Well, that revolution song is so wrong. Yeah. I mean, that's what the whole this is New York, this is Long Island, this is, yeah. you know. I, hear, I, I honestly hear more of Misfits than I do uh, Revolution Sun. Yeah. Uh, Life of Agony. Uh, yeah. Without the oh, movie. that's what it is. That's what I was thinking of before. See, this is interesting to me. This is here. It's got a little looking back mat to it. What's the, um, I'm hearing full, uh, and I'm hearing a little Harley. What's the, the, what's that one like Vagony song? River on Tread. It's not that one, it's, I, that's the one I go to, but uh, this time. All right. Uh, that was much different than I expected. That, that's a little different from the rest of the record. Yeah, let's go and put another one on. Right. But on uh, that was song. good, that was a good song. I liked song. that a lot. I actually, the, the singing threw me off, but I, that's what I was thinking it was, is uh, Life of Agony. Yeah. It's, and but but on a hardcore thing and not like totally there because I was initially thinking something like like I guess Life of Agony on initial records. Yeah, <laughs> but you know what? Does one of those things like probably the first time you listen to it, you're like, I don't know. Wait, but then the second it? time you'd be like, this is fucking cool. Like the vocals, like the patterns and shit. Well, I liked it a lot. Yeah, I liked that a lot. I, I like I like that they're going for a thing that is not uh, happening right now. Not happening. Also, not recognizably Long Island, but everything about this actually, actually makes perfect sense sure. for Long Island. Right. Uh, give us a, that first jam. I'm gonna give you Higgs Boson, which is the first track. Hmm. A man said to the universe, Sir, "Very nineties. I exist. love a sound club." However. Replied the universe. Who's the best sound clip band ever? Yo, I might go for the love of. Honestly, never heard of you're not far off on. Uh, uh, yeah, you guys are good. Indecision is not far off. As a, we might be. I think you have some of the most icon. This is not just because you're my homie. I think that the. Oh really, sir? Yeah. It is so fucking iconic. People mosh to the intro to Purgatory, and it's just a British guy talking about you bad. You need carbide. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. People yeah, start yeah. fucking punching yeah. each other. Yo, this record's gonna be hot. This yeah. is good. So that's like that kind of has that like searching for light. Yes. This is train through more, more modern Long Island, Island yeah. stuff. But even a little bit more super touching. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Not revolution in summer at all. No, I don't hear an ounce. Yeah, stop saying that, people. No, all this is New York-y, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, that like early 90s New York. And some Long Island, like late 90s, early 2000s, yeah. you know? Yeah. 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 If you told me this was like when Prime and Stereo started, they did a little side project with like the drummer singing, you yeah. know, like... Super for sure, yeah. Yeah, and so with Super Touch, you also could you could cite mental a little bit, like the late yeah. mental stuff. Yeah, I think it's chunkyish, but like chunky, not in the heavy way. Yeah, I mean, I'm a little back. bit. I love, I love both. Me too. 
but Looking Back kind of has that Super Touch vibe. Mo- Looking Back totally does, but the, the one thing that separates Looking Back is Tom Capone's guitar playing. Very, it's like, a little more metal, metal and yeah. like, yeah. 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 you yeah. know? Whereas Viv is doing some different shit. And they all descendants. Yes, correct. And that's, that's something that I hear a lot in the Long Island stuff, yeah. like melodic Long Island hardcore, which I think has been strained so far that a lot of Long Island people don't know, yeah. who wouldn't pick up that it's like all Descendants kind of stuff. Even this, yeah, very like melodic SST cruise record style. Like it's not a big drill car, but no, if but you like that, you'd like this. I mean, listen, that, that car right there could also be Long Island the capital. That's what, what I think they're pulling those same strings. Like, uh, not, and I do say capital, not. Not solid majority. Yes. Yeah, yeah. wow. That's so Stephen Egan. We have got to yeah. talk about how good the forgotten Corbin bands are. What? The Trumps. What a good idea. He's fucking good. And I think there's another one. Well, he was in that band, Advent. I think we should do a full Long Island episode. Yeah. Like, that would be a fun one, actually. I, there's some Blood Red tracks that are fucking awesome. Really? Yes. I've, I've missed a lot of that time. That's because the LP is not good. Okay. But, but the stuff prior to that and the seven chapter, I want to okay. say. Oh. This is a, the song's a little long, yeah. but I'm, I'm still with it. Yeah. That's Swiss. Yeah, this is yeah. So they're from yeah, they're from a lot of sources, and it's it's super for them. Yeah. Huh. This, if there's any justice in this world, this will be a. Yeah, I hope they bang. get out there yeah. and play. Yeah. Um, quick thing, two two episode pieces. One. Um, we're going to do uh, a Long Island deep dive, probably. Sure. But I think that's going to be part of our... Uh, a lot of people were asking us right when it came out. Kerrang! did a map a minute ago yeah. with the best hardcore band from each state. There's other people doing talk on that. You yeah. can get all the talk. We're not going to do that. We're going to go and do geographic spots and go deep on each spot. So, you know, keep an ear out for that. It'll be more fun than just us saying, it shouldn't be... SSD, it should be Slapshot, of course. Ha ha ha. We'll uh, yeah. we'll give you some depth. I'll be ready thing. for a two and a half hour episode of me talking about biohazard. Yeah. Yo, uh, the reason I didn't want to touch on that particular topic when it came up was because it really felt like they were just baiting me. Right. You know what I mean? It didn't. Sure. It didn't yeah. feel like this was a sincere effort to give me the real thing. To me. It also felt so subjective, and a lot of that. There's enough. Like, I'm not mad if you say SSD is the best band. Like, oh, is is Turnstile the best band from Maryland? Sure. Is Trapped Under Ice better than them? I don't know. Splitting some hairs there. You know, it's just up to you. Um, I thought that was really good. I it, really like that. I liked the demo. Mm-hmm. And I think this is a step up. This is a step up. Yeah. Like step up. And this is uh, the plea to go out there, get out there, play some shows. I think they have plans to. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking of, were these dudes in a, a... I showed up late to a show or hung out in the fucking van or whatever, but... This, it, maybe Drug Church played with these guys or the band that they were in just before this, maybe? I don't know, whatever. At any rate, um, I wish I had watched. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, the guitar player is Zach from Drew Kai. Mm-hmm. Your boy John singing. Yep. Abbas, that was in Burn. Okay. Who's an incredible drummer. You gotta be. Um, like, insane. Yeah. Like, um, I'm trying to think who else was in it that I noticed. I mean, they're probably all in other bands over the, in the last year or two, but this is super fucking cool. And it's an outlier, which should be kind of melodic hardcore. Yeah, maybe yeah, this yeah. would be the. F- I, I don't think it's. It I don't think well, and Fiddlehead's not melodic hardcore per se, but they're melodic, close yeah. enough. And and putting in the hardcore world, I think uh, we we asked what's next. We got two more bands, and we got a scene. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I mean, Praise is still there. Praise might be doing a new record this year, from what I understand. They got so. a tour on it. You yeah, they do. I, mean? I know. That's, that's and the, and you know, it's the thing about a band like Roll Them All, they could go out and tour with Drug Church or mm. Blind Justice, and that's cool. Yeah, yeah. that's a good place to be. Um, next up, uh, going from a young guy band to a older guy band, we're going to do Red Hair. Oh. That's an older guy band. Yep. Uh, <laughs> these dudes, ha- I, I 
was so impressed with how much they have owned the same sound for 20 years. More. More. Right? So this is Sean Brown. It is. It, so well, it's Jesus Eater, Swizz. But this is, uh, and Bob, you can correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is Swizz? the same guy as Minus One Dude. As Swizz. I believe so. Uh, yeah. that, 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 so we're talking Swizz. Uh, what blue tip? Blue tip. Jesus uh, sweet, eater. Sweet belly freak down. Like uh, Jesus like, eater. Yeah. Like like. Jeez. Okay. So so we're these these guys have really. I don't know. I'm just. I like when things change. This changes enough for me, iteration to iteration, that I'm game. You know what I mean? I'm gonna pick a song unless you got one in mind. Pick one. Uh, I'm happy. I, I was just super impressed. Tom, do you like Red Hair? Are you familiar with this record? The I, I'm last not one? familiar with the new stuff. Yeah. Um, the first LP. Yeah. yeah. You know, like I've checked wow. it out. Never really. Okay. Yeah. To be quite okay. honest with you. Our, our mutual friend, Rich Miles, said that no one under the age of 35 or no one over the age of 35 that he's encountered doesn't like this band. Yeah. Oh, no. It's, I, oh, so I'll probably dig it. Yeah. You'll, but I think, I think young people could really like this record, too. And the art on the records is fantastic. I don't like this one. Oh, you don't? Why no. not? Uh, this is a bit too cartoony for my tastes. Uh, I think it's just the eyes on the rabbit. More yeah, than anything true, else. true, That's true. All. Um, okay, I really like this song, Edit the Family, which brings in uh, kind of like, you know, what are these, uh, Maryland dudes or DC dudes? At, at any rate, mm-hmm. they are, this brings in some of those, like, you know, we talk about it, like, we make fun of Branch Manager, but like, we're talking about like that era of Discord. Oh, it yeah, has yeah, yeah. a couple of those sounds in it that I really appreciate. I've seen Branch Manager. <laughs> <laughs> At the Palladium opening for Fugazi. Really? Yeah. So this is the main dude from Blue Tip? This is Jason Farrell? Whatever. I believe this is yeah. Farrell. Yeah? It's Farrell and, and Sean, I think. Yeah, it's definitely Sean Brown. Yeah. <laughs> no mistake. I do doesn't really veer from the formula. Are we trying to book a red hair Ruben Mole tour? Can we make that happen? The problem is I don't could, know if people... made the show happen. But. Red hair, I don't know if... It, it's tough. I'm going to say something fucked up. Older guys... It's a new band, You've, or not new, but it's a young, it's not a visible band. You better do a lot of support, and old guys, it's impossible. Who's just support. fucking the open? Yeah, sure. You no, know, I mean, you, they need, the problem is that they need to be doing these weird, like, solo weekends where they're playing locally with whatever, yeah. and, and mixing into the mix, and, yeah, just being in the middle of the show and it blowing people away, yeah. and it's not happening. Instead, they're opening for older Bands right. were bigger at bigger clubs, and that sucks. Yeah, this brings in some different era DC stuff. I really like that. I prefer this to his like this style of Sean Brown that, that is like deck nasty. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's my least favorite deck. Yeah, because I feel like that stuff is so melodic that you need someone who can like really sing and he never really could. This is cool. This one's a little long. But uh, it works for me in the sense that like I mean, there's a couple different parts going yeah. for. Yeah, you're really bobbing on this. I, I mean, it's the family down. So, uh, Swizz is a top maybe five band for me. Yeah, all time, and, uh, all time. Uh-huh. And, uh, when I when I got that Jade Tree discography, my mind was fucking blown. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, I fucking I love Swizz, and he has when he is in top form. We're talking about Sean the singer now. He has a venomous fucking delivery. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's really like you can tell that it, he is nonplussed by whatever the fuck is is going yeah. on in life, and uh, also occasionally hits really high points in, in terms of hardcore lyricism. True, uh, 
and Jesus Eater was a little heavier than this, if I remember correctly, right? Uh, yeah, it and was, a little bit more discordant, like just yeah. like n- not noisy, but made more sense on yeah. Death Wish. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but still, still a real outlier at that time. Yeah, oh, oh yeah. yeah, oh uh, yeah, because they kind of that was pre self defense, and self defense was probably one of the weirder. It was years before yeah, you. Yeah, what, years. One of the this is probably ones. early aughts, right? I mean, two thousand two, two thousand three. Yeah, I think like after that, that but no, like, no, it's there. Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah. To do. Um, they were like an early Death Wish, Death Wish band, if yeah. I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I forgotten think, and, and like maybe should be dug up. So we'll throw some. Should tracks. be dug up. I, listen, I think I think anything Sean does is is worth checking out. I yeah. uh, I wouldn't say. I see. I'm not a Dag Nasty. I was going to ask you about Dag Nasty. I'm not a Dag Nasty fan of any real type. I mean, I the hits, but like I yeah. uh, I do like his vocals. You know, I mean, I, yeah, I, okay. li- I like his vo- I like his vocals on anything. I, I I'm a big admirer do of you, this man. What's your Dagnasty era? What stuff do you like the most? Ah, uh, shit. Because I'm a wig out. Dude. Yeah, I would go wig out. I like the reunion record. The new one or the Rev one? No, it was the one. It was because they just did a single. No, 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 I'm with talking like Sean 1992 Brown. or something. Uh. I would check it out. Oh, four on the floor. Yeah, I yeah, dig like that. that. Yeah, that's a rare opinion, which is with Smalley. Yeah, but he's in Down by Law form. Yeah, and I kind of liked it. I think the Down by Law first record, um, Punk Rock Fight Academy song, whatever. Or is before, before that, that. self titled, I I can fuck with. Um, yeah. But uh, as much as I dislike Dave Smalley's political stances yeah. now and kind of think he's a dope, right. um, I do really like Can I Say. Yeah, I like well, and, yeah, yeah. But wig out for me is the top. But you know the Sean like Brown stuff. Say, yeah, yeah, it's it's tough. Those are two. Yeah, really you can't good really records. go wrong. I do like four on the floor though. I really don't mind yeah. it. I don't really fuck with the Rev one too much, but the new Dag Nasty single with Sean Brown is really good, right. which you probably would I, fuck with. I'd fuck with. I, uh, I think, I mean, suffer from maybe old guy bias where yeah everybody over 35 loves that and everybody under it uh, isn't giving it much time now why haven't you done a weekend with red hair uh, I mean actively I'm trying to get away from old guys yep I'm with that <laughs> but like right? that's one where if it was just a couple dates like well yeah oh sure I'd play with them but and like, I mean for either band but especially self defense I feel like people would come out who maybe don't know your band or don't like your band but do know red hair and would check it out maybe I'm the dude who who's you know the, the anti old guy right um, but uh, no, I mean, it makes sense. But I do think quality is quality at a certain level, and red hair certainly is. Yeah, so right, of course, respect for sure. Yeah. Uh, next up, we're gonna do combust. This is not brand new, but I think people overlooked it. It this came out late 2017. Is that right? Yeah. But I don't Early know. If, and they're starting to kick up dust. They're yeah. playing yeah. back to school jam. No. Start, no. No. They're playing. Uh, Are they really? I no, I think they're playing this week. Well. Three weekends ago with, uh, I think it was with Terror, maybe? Oh, okay. Um, um, but yeah, they're starting, like, they played Black and Blue Bowl. They're, oh, okay, like, they did, yeah. Okay. These so dudes have been in bands for a while, and this is kind of... They're like, starting to do stuff. And I feel like this is the one that's going to, like, take hold. No shit. Okay, I'm excited then. Yeah. Uh, it it's very, ni- like, late 80s, early 90s, NYHC. Gotcha. Outburst, <laughs> that kind of stuff. Breakdown. Yeah. So we're going to do the uh, the the... Song named after the band. Great. You can't go wrong. You That's a New York hardcore staple. Exactly. Exactly. Why haven't you done that with any of your bands? It's time. And you really can do an end of a year. <laughs> sure. I feel like it's even got that recording. Yeah, like my friend Joey in Queens did it in his garage. Yeah, That's what it sounds yeah. like. I'm not in love with this recording, but I, it's a demo. I quite like this. The transition, yeah. Cool. It's got a very Queens vibe for the producers that I like. Very outburst, killing time, kind of. Yeah, I guess, I guess killing time for person is uh, unavoidable. An outburst is there, for sure. A little side by side. Not quite fast enough. But, but there's some, some of the, the galaxy parts. I like that. Height. A little bad brain. Look at the mosh parts. Come on. 
Yeah. 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 And I say that not like every it's visit, yeah. no no uh, you don't need hard you don't need much parts every song that's yeah. that's cool I'm excited for that yeah. I was uh, not at all pitch. mad at that uh, not necessarily a style I gravitate to so for me to be like oh, that was cool yeah you got me you got me by second fifteen okay yeah, yeah I'm I was game. surprised I was surprised how quick right. recording is very of the time yeah uh, not in love uh, with uh, that particular drum sound but uh, I uh, I'm psyched to hear where they go. <laughs> yeah, uh, all right, so that's combust with the song combust. Uh, yeah, I I don't know how to frame uh, what sounds like faint, faint faint praise from me when I go. Yeah, I could listen to that. You know what I mean? Like, but I mean, that's a pop. I mean, for a straight up hardcore. That's thing, what I'm saying. For you, that's a that's, that's a saying. big yeah, that big vouch. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, Yo, what's up, Andrew? Going in another direction. We're gonna do, do the new battle. Did you say it's a new direction? I, I, mean, I to be honest, I'm so unfamiliar with this band. It might be the oldest direction possible. It's okay. Battle uh, Ruins. This is Battle Ruins. Now tell me, this is the same fucking kids that play on all the records in Boston? Uh, well, that's I mean the same from a different same time. From it's yeah. not the same yeah. time. This is a different time. Like those kids are not in that many bands now. Okay, you know what all I mean. Right. They're yeah. not kids. Yeah. Singer yeah. from Rival I, Mob. I just, I just singer from Rival. Yeah, 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 it's okay. Singer and drummer of Rival Mob. Original guitar player of Rival Mob, but who wasn't in the band past right like there. their demo. Yeah. You know okay. what I mean? Um, I don't know the rest of the lineup, but yeah. So this, this is the their drummer, more DFJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in this too. Yes, and this God. is actually this is really good. Yeah, really, really good. And so also both those dudes are in Magic Circle doing the same thing, but it's a little butt. different. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. This is um, that dude can sing. Would he not have sing. thought listening to Rival Mob, I would not think that that dude could oh, carry. He can too. sing. So I was going to choose a song based on yeah. length. If the, well, oh. is this a fast band or not? No. Right. Listen to this like you're going to listen to Cox Bar. So you you oh. go for it. All right. So we're going to go with Under the Black Sun. Hmm. What song is it? That is one? Not against this so far. Hold on. No music. Is. Oh, okay. All right. There we go. Good chorus. Yeah. You know, it's just the vocal part of the beginning was a little rough. Yeah, but the vocal the chorus is cool. It's gotten better. And that note is pretty impressive. And now these dudes all know how to play their instruments. Very boy, very UK, very European. Yeah, but way more poor. Oh, yeah. yeah. Way more poor than the other stuff. I think I'm going to make him listen to one of the old songs after this, because I think he'll trip out. The vocals are more, like, um, more sp- sp- slappy, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. than in previous stuff, I think. Yeah. 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 I was going to say, I like the wolf. The, the, oh, the imagery, the yeah. Is a, is a drawing of a wolf. Over oh, cross swords. Yeah, with some, like, runes that might be sketchy. I don't know. Uh, the, Just Norse letters. Anything Norse is sketchy, though. Those people have blonde hair. Yeah. The, the, uh, I like this wolf, though. the song before and I can say but I do like this alright so alright we're gonna stop it there what do you think of that uh, I'm not at all mad at that the the uh I mean okay so here's the thing about anything oi or it, I think that 99% of it is bad in a way that is uh, precludes listening to it like you can say 99% of anything is bad. 99% of sure, hardcore sure, is very sure. bad. But for whatever reason, I'll still always give some new hardcore band a shot, whereas mm-hmm. some new oi band I'll, uh, I am highly skeptical of. Yes. But when you hit it out of the park with oi, 
it's that t- it can be really good I mean it's fucking reggae music it's that shit where if it's good at, literally everybody in the room is enjoying it no yes. matter who they are it's infectious alright so we're not gonna we're gonna change it up we're gonna go back to their first EP which 2010 and, yep exactly uh, this might be my favorite record from 2010 click on the click on the song Blood Eagle the song Blood Eagle okay yeah. what do we got I like <laughs> Gimme, okay. gimme, gimme. Okay, we got Blood... Oh. Listen to these song titles. Blood Eagle, yeah. Traitors Stopped Out, Warpaths Ahead, Heart of Fire and Stone. Boy. God, Oi is really codified. You know what I mean? Well, like, give it a second. I think that's part of the problem with these dudes for the band is that it's so good for what it is. And they... Especially this... Yeah. Sounds nothing like the other song. Yeah. Hold on. Like, this song's so good. It only gets better, by the way. Trying to do the bruising a little bit. Uh huh. I can hear that. Yeah. Like, when I heard they were doing this, I was like, what? Really? And then I heard it, I was like, holy oh, yeah. shit. It's so good. I think it's. I feel like the other. I feel like I don't like the rival mob as much as I should because I wish they were just doing this. Right. This may actually. The newer stuff might be affected by the Magic Circle stuff. Both different song. Oh, uh, maybe, but different songwriters. Yeah, but the, I mean, he's not here to fucking high pitch stream. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, this is just really good punk music. In my opinion. So, you know, this stuff kicks up those feelings for me, though, where it's like, when you are perfect genre replication, like you have, I, well, right, yeah, you've clearly studied this. Yeah, you know, what I mean, like these people sat in a room. And these are thirty-year-olds. Like, yeah, you know what they're doing. Yeah, and said we're gonna do this. Yes, and nailed it. Yeah. I don't know. That's like a it's, weird vibe. To I, I, I'm with you at a part, but there's a certain magic to the music. Now, the weird thing on this is that it is true project band. Mm. They didn't play a show until maybe three years ago when this came out in 2010. Wow. And it was a European festival. And then they did one more, and then they did their show in Boston. Did they tickets up for sale for it? Almost a full year in advance? Maybe not, but like eight months. Yeah, and it sold out. It sold out within. A couple weeks. Fuck you. Who like who? I don't mean who likes this in that it's unlikable. I no, mean, it's great. I mean, who likes this? Who likes that vibe? Like, I mean, who, there are people that are completists. Oh, I mean, these dudes. No, no, no. I mean, they they got this is super popular in the boy punk scene to the point where they almost were like it's like was problematic for them. Like, uh, like maybe the wrong people are listening to this. Uh, I mean, uh, with that, with this crowd, it's always the fucking wrong people, but. Uh, my question is like, like it's pitch perfect everything's really good does that not count against you though like I mean we say that about the 90s hardcore band ripoffs how is this any different and that's my point though. in terms of like it being t- too reverential I mean, that's my point is that I'm a hater but I don't know too many innovative boy bands so it's hard for me to like you know but I guess my point is I got two questions for you first if these dudes have been doing this for years and it wasn't like a hey we're going to do an oi band yeah. because that's fun as fuck could they would they have been more outside the lines a couple of these guys did so the other side of this is this band grew out of a band called the lovely lads oh right who's part of that scene so they actually were so they were part of that scene right. and the lovely lads also predated rival mob so like that shouldn't these dudes aren't like a group Fly of by night, like, or well, well slung fucking hardcore kids. These are dudes who like punk music and like the shit and had been doing it. Lovely lads didn't get a ton of traction, but they were playing shows locally in that like people rather ta- large. I mean, people in my world were talking about them, so Correct. for that for that to be a thing. But I guess what I'm saying is like, you know how it is. If you're a hardcore, if you're a hardcore band, uh, that. Eh, maybe it isn't like this in a way. I was going to say, it, it, when you are hardcore dudes trying to do something else, people want to shit on you. But I was just thinking, like, the the choke the choke band... Uh, Stars uh, and Stripes. Stars and Stripes. Uh, 
There's Oi fans that fucking love that. That band. couldn't give less of a fuck about Slapshot. Yeah, oh, I and mean, don't think that yeah. and don't think that the dudes are necessarily posers or any shit like that. No, they, just they don't love at all. fucking Star. So what do I know? Maybe yeah. Oi fans are fucking more open minded than <laughs> than the rest of us. Um, yeah, I wasn't mad. Uh, first song I wasn't mad at. Second song I liked. So yeah, there yeah, same. Yeah, <laughs> um, and I'll, I'm excited to listen to that whole new record. I, I it kind of snuck up on me. I didn't know it was out, and I was like, oh shit, okay, I got a new thing to listen to. Here we go. So. Next up, we're gonna do we're gonna do uh, spiritual despair. Pardon me, scourge uh, with the song spiritual despair off this, the record of the same title, spiritual despair. Okay, but this one's kind of old by our standards. It's from early last year. This no, it's a promo. This is a promo. This is a record that apparently hit like it hit streaming not too long ago. Because um, they got something brand new. All right, but, let's play, let's play but, the brand but, new. I mean, it don't, don't matter one way or the other, but. Uh, we're gonna give because uh, I don't know Scourge from a hole in the wall. Yeah. So, uh, so this this hit Spotify, but I don't know what that even means. So um, play the newest thing, whatever they got on there. All right. Yeah, let's play the we're newest. We're gonna do Condemned, which is just it doesn't give any context for it, but it's new song on no, their it's band a dude camp. in a bucket hat playing like you a guys squire. are good. Gonna, let's let's see what's up. Sounds like Make Me Laugh by Anthrax. Fuck. It's an immediate point of reference. I really like Anthrax. You know what? Weird thing. I did for like a year when I was like 16 and do not often go back to Anthrax. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't go back to them. They got tracks. That's some bangers. Bad box. Can't go wrong. Drums too loud. Unless I'm just I'm here. We're listening to it on a MacBook. Yeah. Hmm. Heavy. You're waiting for something to happen. I didn't like that little drum transition part, but like got kind of a lot of war vibe. I don't know if that's what they usually go for. Yeah, they're on the heavy. Chicago, Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. I am close. I know it's Scourge with a K, that's all. I'll be honest, they're both close, they're close enough for me. Places I don't go. I have it. Well, it never gets me. You gotta ride him off the ride, yeah. You gotta, you gotta be Dave Lombardo. You gotta be really good. Well, I mean, I'm game for it as long as it doesn't sound like it's four, four rooms away, which that definitely did. Got an early '90s like Brooklyn hardcore vibe to me, like a, a bit of anger, con- confusion, yeah. Yeah. dark side. Yeah. Like a lot of dudes with cards and like flannels coming to the shows. Yeah, yeah. And the guns off to their friends on stage to see the genius. Yeah. And another sweatshirt they just carried to hand the gun off. The gun sweatshirt. Yes. I witnessed that. Alright, so that part I like. What if you wear that sweatshirt? Tied around your waist? Or that sweatshirt? Yeah, or just like carry it in like you just bought some merch. Okay, yeah. yeah I literally watched some dude like envelop something and hand it off to some guy, and a guy like grabbed it very gingerly and yeah. brought it up onto the stage. Hmm. It's good to have a gun on stage. You never know when you might need one. <laughs> Never know when you gotta pop off. So what do we think? I that recording was uh, irritating. Yeah, but I th- I like this. The songs are cool. Okay. The songs cool. It reminds me of my my heyday, the day that you know what I, I grew up listening to. I thought the guitar player was very talented, and that maybe the rest Can of the band has to catch up more. But yeah. I actually yeah. did like I did like a couple parts. The end of the song, there was like a little part. About 30 seconds left, I was like, oh, this is cool. I like the kind of break and then the change up with the drums. It was good. I will listen to more. Curious to see yeah. what they put out next. More and dive bombs. Yeah. It's, it's star- you know what? That song started strong, yeah. finished strong, and some of the middle got choppy on yeah. me. Uh, I am going to go uh, now to a band that we've mentioned, Year of the Knife. Now, this band is coming Delaware out- Straight Edge. Del- There's a Straight Edge band. Ah, okay. There's one that we forgot. Okay. Now, they're coming off a lot of goodwill uh, from the... Terror Knocked Loose Tour. Yes. Jesus Peace. Yes. Big shows. 
Uh, not, Venues packed for them being the opening band. Knocked Loose really put it on for them, like really yeah. saying that this is a yep. thing that we back. Uh, I'm going to choose a sh- short-ish song off this. Well, off the new thing that uh, they just yes, released. Which, which is, is called First State, uh, first, State. First State Aggression. Yeah. And... It's a self-released little EP, only digital, from what I understand. So I think that's right. Uh, I'm good with that part. We're going to see if I'm good with the rest. Got it. Year of the Knife. Yeah, I guess I missed that this is a straight-edge band. They make a pretty big deal about yeah? it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. hold on. Are you playing the same song? No, we're pl- we're playing a uh, uh, what is almost certainly oh, an, this is the interlude. Interlude. Yeah, an interlude. This is interlude. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. So enough of that. Uh, we're gonna go instead with the with the first song on the record. Better recording mm-hmm. than the other song. Drum saw is a kind of funny kind of sound. Really tinny. Yeah. For that? Yeah. Pickle and snare. It's hard. It's hard. Vocals are improved. Yeah, that's all for sure. Yeah, vocals are hard. Hard. I would like to a little better transition to that, but that's cool. I think Patrick actually has a hard one. <laughs> Why are you hard? It's pretty fast, yeah. This part's fast. That drum is killing me. Yeah, the drum is killing me. Uh, I'm in no sort of love with that. The guitar here is neat. It feels like it's underneath something. Mm. Good, neat. Needed a little more dramatic entry to this part. Huge, but I like Getting sometimes more. when it's kind of abrupt and you're like, "Oh, no, but that's what I wanted. I wanted even more, more abrupt, like going like, and yeah. then stop to go into it." Whoa! I'm mad at that part. That's straight a lot more. What do you think the references for what are these kids like? Mid twenties or early? Mid mid. What do you think the references? Oh, they were, yeah. Uh, or they like uh, they like all that eight thousand stuff. Oh, that's interesting. The liar. Yeah. Liar is Archangel. Archangel. Yeah, Archangel. It's a crazy thing about those bands. They're all terrible. Mm-hmm. Uh, but. Were they? Dude, we played with them and it was a phenomenon. Oh yeah, for sure. I yeah, think, I I think it's parts, you know what I mean? There's parts. Yeah, see, that's that's my beef. The reason I don't like any of these bands is because none of them follow through on the promise that they that they all have. Yeah. Tom, we've got a few parts on this song. There's a lot and of a lot movement. Kick back too. Kick yeah, back kick is a new thing that everybody loves. I, these Delaware people have been repping for for a while. Kick back, yeah, no, for, I, for I sure. Say, and all the Euro stuff. I was gonna say maybe I'm spearheading the kick back. Uh, you down with kick back? Talking about it all the time. I, I, because people are obsessed with kick back. Yo, the Youngs get a lot of credit for that. Yeah, there were some they, dudes yeah. who fucked with it before. We'll these dudes have been fucking with it for a long time. I mean, defer to the Youngs. Yeah. I, I, uh, I mean, fucking head clear off and give a shit. Yeah. I mean, there's also people with that. Yeah, yeah. And there were people who were us in Paris. There were it's people who were good. pushing kickback to me in 1997. So, yeah. you know. See, for me... I passed on their 7-inch. Yeah, where, are, where were all y'all you know, when they played Black and Blue one year and no one gave a mm-hmm. shit? Uh, I, mm-hmm. I'm going to say if they played this year, no one would have given a shit. It's fake give a shit. It's like, that's you know, right. you listen to it on your mm-hmm. headphones, you like it. Well, I mean, I think that's the same thing with Archangel. Oh, Ar- not a living human being can Yo, you know what? that Archangel matters. That year of the knife, other than that drum sound, let's listen to another song. I dug it. I dug it a lot. I don't know if you're going to want that. These songs are fucking long. How long Just Give long? us one. Not the interlude and give us one other. All right. This song's called Evil. How uh, long? Uh, three and a half. If we, that's fine. If we lose it, we keep, we'll start talking. All right. Um, 
so I. Uh, Whoa. Oh, all right, all right, coming right in. There we go. Sorry, I'm putting some, some lag in the room. So. Okay, we're still on. We're taking, uh, okay. we're taking a second. I want this band to have big sound and recordings. If, yeah. you, if you're going to be this evil and be this metal, you got to. You got to. Oh, go to Steve Evans. You got to pony up, man. Who's putting this out? Do we know? I think it's self release, so like I get it. But do they have like a next thing? Uh, not to my knowledge. Maybe. Harm motherfucking reduction. You know, I've, I've reached out to them. Uh, Amelia is a big thing. And, and, and she would like to work with them. But they. Uh, I I would have gone in a different direction with this. I would have said, give me two or three songs and spend the same amount of money and just make them super killer. Yeah. You know? um, I don't even think, I think you could have gotten the same EP, but just send them to a bigger studio. Yeah. It's four songs with an interview. Yeah, but I mean, my finding. Better here. Oh, okay. I like that a little bit. Got Deftones vibe to it. Oh, I wonder how much. How much some of these heavy bands are the Deftones? They probably wouldn't. I mean, it's everyone's in the mix, in the mix. Yeah. for sure. I'm psyched to see them. We're playing with them in September. You have enough? Yeah, they're not. They're not announced yet, but they will be. Oh, oh shit! They'll be playing back to again. Yeah. Vocals are cool. Yeah. They are. Very kickback, though. I think. Kickback always sounded like they, they were like. Like inhaling, yeah. like inward singing, like Jack Black. Yeah. <coughs> you know. I think it was rumored that HR did that on the pay to come. Really? Uh, so they went back and forth. So yeah. It's not bad. Wow. Okay, so so this song started a little on the slow ass side for me, and now we're cooking. Yep. So songs are a little long for my liking, but there are certain style. parts, and they, they, like this is a huge step up from their last stuff. Huge step up, I think. Yeah, I still think they really need to do. I think if it, I think a big studio is not hurting. Like I don't always agree, depending on what kind of hardcore band you are. But a band like this, yeah, I, I think if you're going like. Like uh, that, when you want to be heavy, you gotta make it out. You can't have that. You gotta pay for it. You gotta pay. Yes. Yeah. Is this the first recording with the new singer? Yes. Yeah. So is it something? This is heavy and like people are hurting each other, but there's just a little bit of off time element that I think could throw it off. Like it might be just like hard to dance to this. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like there's some like not to say there's other parts that are totally in rhythm that I'm like, oh, this is you know I can see people bouncing and and really going hard at it. That last part I was like, oh, this seems like it was set up for it, but then it was just off time enough that I was like, oh, this might be hard to kick people to. They'll find a way. Yeah, uh, they always do. So my thing with that is, uh, I'm not going to say this is a misstep because maybe it's killing it for them. You know what I, I mean? I think it I, would be. I, I couldn't say, but I, I will say that uh, if you're coming off that much good energy off of a huge tour, I think that maybe just even one song that you really overpaid for and, and sounds this might have been done before they went on that. Tour. That's true. That, Quite well, honestly, presumably I maybe it is. Yeah. 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 All right, that's Maybe they kind of rush to have some product. I mean, so here's something that I'd say is that sometimes when you work with a label, it's to help you cite where and when and how to do these things. And, you know, you self-release. I think people should self-release their music. That's cool. It's, it's cool. But the place of labels in 2018 is to have someone who knows some of the other sides of it, who can help you navigate and help you place why and where and when for a lot of the different parts of the record where to go when to put it out how to get it out there you know i actually think a, a physical release for that would do decently well you know 
Yeah, hard. I mean, honestly, hard to say. Right hard now. to say. Heavy, that metal. Yeah, I know. It's not a buyer, but tough. Um, okay. Uh, shout out to Year of the Knife. Uh, we're gonna go with now. A, now for something completely different <laughs> from, from Asbury Park. Uh, from Brick, New Jersey. We're gonna go with R J K, a song by the band Stag Party, from of whom I know nothing. From the Shore, they've Swank. been around for a few years. Mm. Uh, the homie Paul White, Swank, uh, the Big Show, Paul White. What do I got to do to get a name? Like, he, is it too late for me to have a he's cool had nickname? That nickname for twenty-two years. Swank. It's a porno magazine. It is it's good. correct. You can call That's me. That's where it's from. Is that, is that where it's that from? Right? Call me Club. You know what I mean? Club, 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 Club was really good, man. Yeah, Club, I'm fan. Club was the fan. shit back in the day. Swank was I'd too. love to have Swank on the pod and deal with Swank is him coming on the pod. There's we some do our... stories that I want him to tell in the podcast that uh, will maybe have to be Patreon content okay. because we yeah. need to put a little like NSFW. Um, let's see. Swank. Uh, let me give a quick Swank story. You went to high school with him, correct? Yeah, he was a senior when I was a freshman. Wow. Yeah. Um, and... The quickest one I will give on him is that he was known as the Phantom Shitter, which meant he would hit double deckers and all that stuff. But when we were waiting outside of the Age of Quarrel show that you guys played, your second show. Oh, shit. At CB's. Yeah. Um, we were we got there stupid early for a number of reasons, uh, and we were bored. You were going to support the scene. You're like, hey, I want to yeah. check out this most precious uh, blood uh, band. They sound like they might be okay, others. right? Yeah. Yes, yes, crusade correct. and <laughs> crusade damage. Damn it, <laughs> um, Robbie Redcheeks, right? No, I think it was the would, no, was that, that was damage. Robbie's damage? Yeah, yeah. okay, okay. Damage was. two, whatever the fuck it was called. I think it was damage at the time. It was pre damage two. two. <laughs> um, the McDonald's on Broadway. Oof. He shit just shit in the eating area. While we were there, that is oh. a phantom shitter. Wow! Just like while we were sitting this close to him, I'm sitting next to him, and he just squats and shits, and it was amazing. No and wiping then, involved. Not yeah, not no, to get that person. No, but. we had some wiping for him when he exited. Yeah, but then your cheeks rubbed together on your walk. You know, what I'm it w- I mean, I think he was conscious of it and kept himself clean. Very clean guy too. Okay. Um, shout, then, shout out to Swank's ass. Then shat in an alley on a piece of newspaper. And we were waiting in front of CB, so we rolled it out and watched for people to walk in. Yeah. <laughs> These are the always. pranks of teenage years, so um, shout out. Hopefully that never goes out of style. Stag Party. Coolest band. Cool name. Let's fucking do it. So this is one of the things that... Swank's vocals have been like uh, he, yeah, kind of higher pitch here yeah, I like and I really like what he got to. very crusty almost it's very SSD to me I can hear that too like the strain you can hear better the drummer was in bands like Paired Up and, oh he was yeah okay who else is um, any other like those? Sean Urin I know the name. Sean Dixon. Yeah, good, okay, friend. No. good friend. But no other like staring problem or no, like couple, more I mean, annoying was, dudes I mean, or anything. Was, yeah, I mean there's a couple there might be some hangover from some of that stuff, but I think it was mostly new. I think maybe Guy and, and Fury. So Mashi. Yeah. So like punk and very traditional art. Yeah. His voice is dope. Really good. I know, it's one of the strengths of this right Yeah. Now. Yeah, because his voice is always kind of high, like screamy, like. Right, which was part of the charm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this, I think, I, this hit me. When he sent me this stuff, I was really excited. Yeah. Cool. All right, Stag Party. What did they think? record? Give us, give us your honest take. Uh, that was uh, rather forgettable hardcore. Yeah. Um, I yeah. think that's probably its purpose, right? Yeah, it's very traditional. Yeah. yeah. Live, fun, go off. Yeah, he's a really good front man. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Shout out to... Best material coming out. Club I think they're self-releasing their record, too. So, cool. again, another thing. Where'd they thing. record, do you know? I don't know. Maybe it was Lake Somewhere House, in Jersey. So. Somewhere in Jersey. Cool. For sure. I like it. It sounds cool. All right. Into um, it. This band is from, I think, Missouri, something like that? What is? This is Kill Their Past. This was, this was sent to us. Okay. This was sent to us. Uh, it came out uh, last year, but we're not going to hold that against it. Uh, it's a buried alive reference. Okay. So I'm wondering if that's what it sounds like. 
Uh, you pick any of these tracks and you'll be good. The art is... Uh, is that a photograph of uh, Vietnam photograph. War Vets? Is that, is that what that is? Or is I that... believe so, yeah. Okay. Uh, but it's put through one of those uh, uh, filters that everybody's got. It's, but it, it's on Instagram. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's actually cool art. Uh, we are going to go with the song Dharma. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Let's see if you're hard. Let's wait, see wait, wait. What's... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, do it. What the fuck are you doing? All right, here. Why's it fucking with us? Hold on. Hold up. Uh, okay. Here we go. We are all going to understand what he's saying. Yeah, it's too much. Right now they're resting on top in a way I'm not loving. Okay. Yep. Here we go. Definitely not very hot. No, way faster. I yeah, way punker. Than, from, yeah. from being from Midwest with a name like Killer Pass, you gotta imagine. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's heavy. It's still yeah, heavy. But, but, I, I don't, I, to me, it's not. But it's, not got, those, alive. it's got those heavy. fast parts. Yeah, yeah buried alive is probably as good as what they're going for. Uh, that's ignorant. That's like kick somebody from the stage so they can. I like the vocals. Like the vocals, they are a little high in the mix. Yeah, yeah. The more of this is the hot guy. Yeah, yeah. Agree with you. I kind of like this. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, this is, we get some, a pretty good amount of stuff, and a lot of it surprises me, the quality of it, and this was one of them. Yeah. Like, I, I should be clear. This is. It's kind of trash, but it's kind of trash because of the recording. I think that if I think that if this was uh, put through the right lens, uh, this would be very heavy yeah. in a way that would get through. Yep, yeah, here we go. All right. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get, get his car wheeling off the stage. It sounds like the mosh part and blister. Mm. You know what? Are we- Look into the sky. Are we at the logical limit of mosh parts? Is there no place to go? That's how I'm starting to feel. Yeah. Mosh will purvey. Oh, wow. So we'll find a way. Okay. Like this part. I dig it. Okay, so I half dig it. Here's, here's what I think it would benefit from. Uh, all those parts that sound empty, like one guitarist sort of shit, uh, instead of uh, leaning against that and putting more in, just strip it down. Do like uh, Satisfaction is the Death of Desire. When I played Satisfaction is the Death of Desire for somebody that had no interest in that type of hardcore, etc., yeah. like, they dialed into influences that I'm not sure Hatebreed had, but kind mm. of make a lot of weird sense, like Godflesh, you know what I mean? Right. Where, where, oh, I mean, yes. Where, where you're like, oh, the parts that are sparse and heavy are yeah. really doing that well you yeah know i've what heard I mean? that i mean i've heard that exact comp actually so, so honestly like kill their past this uh th- this showed promise to me oh man this guy's got a big weird beard um the uh this showed promise but i would i would honestly uh turn up the heavy and anytime you're in in uh you're questioning do i go fast or do i go heavy just go heavier i think you're good don't don't listen to Patrick. All right, you got a good balance of fast and heavy. Yes, I'm into it. Okay, and now we've got. Uh, what, what are we up to? Are we up? Let us know if you guys like this. We're kind of going rapid fire, but but a lot of people ask us how to hear new music. Yeah, and, and here we you like go. That and we like to hear new music, so this is kind of yeah. Like and this. the triple B comp, the American hardcore comp, really and people like that. Yeah, and that was you know, but it might be. Because I mean, we like recognize the, some of those bands. You know, I mean, well, I not know. even that though. But I mean, you think about like the Mill Specs and the Brother, mm-hmm. like all these bands that even we hadn't heard yet. Oh yeah, and shout we got out Mill Spec. Yeah, yeah, we got put onto because of that. That's true. That's you true. know what I mean? Like I haven't had a chance to listen to everything that we're listening to now. No, you know a lot. A lot of it I'm hearing. So. Oh, yeah, so I mean, sure. this is fucking cool. You know what I mean? And then all these bands have multiple songs out there that you can seek out if you dig it. Yeah, we're now going to move on to Innocent, which is, I think, a very difficult to Google name. But uh, 
is kind of hard and I like it. Give Boston a, punk band, uh, maybe members of Exit Order and a bunch of other chain rank, other Boston punk bands. Oh, I found so. out that there's a dude in Exit Order that sucks. Is he in this band? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, okay. Um, all right, uh, yeah. old beef. He can, okay. he can fucking die. Yeah. Um, What's the beef? Honestly, I have no idea. Dude has uh, dude doesn't like me, and because he's so punk, he's made it clear that he doesn't like me, and I really should have put him in a headlock when he made that clear. But there's still time. How do you make it clear? Life goes on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Life goes you, on. You can either train... Are you singing House of Pain? Oh, da na 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 and life goes on. Thank you. Uh, Burn. Uh, you know, also, also possible that uh, I'm mistaking bands and I just threatened a dude in a band that I don't even know. That, uh, and and is, you're leading your tour off in Boston. He's band. not in this band. Um, shout out to Innocent. Uh, but in line with our conversation uh, from perhaps an episode ago, even if he was in this band, I'd listen with an open mind. All right. So, okay. Uh, Innocent. Boston Punk. Yeah, let's hear it. Boston Punk. Years. I like the name of this record. What's it called? Power is Violence. It's a demo, yeah. Yeah, I like this. Uh, We're going to go with the first track on this, Huddled Masses. America. America. That, that, that <laughs> land of opportunity. Drums are sick. Oh. Cheers. Whoa. Okay. Charging. Vocals at first were came off frilly to me, but I think they were just a little bit more intelligible. I can't figure what you're saying. I'm actually, I kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't mind the intelligible. Okay. Music's strong. Can't get a motorhead vibe. The music's right to the point, and I like that. Uh, the vocals are a very specific choice yep. in terms of recording. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a lot of reverb, sort of, I guess. I mean, it's very than reverb. So, uh, Let's hear one more track. Yeah. These are quick. They are. Uh, we're going to go just with the second track, In the Shadows. Oh, what in the fuck is going on? Okay, so it's a little bit sloppier than yeah, the song, but like intentional. Trailer. I picture a dog with a bandana on yep. and a butt flap, yep. and a meat mix butt flap. Yep. I think I played with this band at ABC No Rio. <laughs> they might be playing Saturday at Thompson Square Park yep. in the band shell. Yeah. I actually like how the vocals are produced. It makes sense for it. Yeah, it's cool. I've got mixed feelings right now. It's ringing me. It's very intentional. And I, I, so as a choice, I like it. Okay. Like it, this is like your lane. Like when you think about like the music I like the most. Yeah, it's like maybe a little too punk. No, I mean because I um, love this sort of stuff. I, I would never it. necessarily seek it out, but no, anytime it's on, I'm like, this is fucking cool. No, shit. I seek it out. I seek it out, and when it's really good, I yeah. love it. That I didn't mind the vocals, but that I hear and I think about what I would like the next thing to be. And it's that the vocals are dialed in. They, they, they figured out the production on the vocals a little better because the music was right on. First track was better than the second track, in my opinion. Yeah, it was almost a different vibe. Like, different yeah, this vibe, is way yeah. more like dirty. The the second track had more punk, like, like yeah, like had it was a little looser, and mm-hmm. then the first track was much tighter. Mm-hmm. But both songs were really cool. Yeah, yeah. it's it's kind of like 
it's where I end up, sweet spot for a lot of stuff. Yeah, I'm just yeah. curious. Yeah, yeah no, I think no, no, no. It's a good question. Yeah, it's cool. I I, uh, I don't like that type of music particularly to listen to. I if I'm at a show and that's what's happening, I usually enjoy myself. Mm-hmm. You know sure. what I mean? Yeah. Um, right, it's not something you would put on, but when someone puts it on, you're not like, what is this? You enjoy it. It's, no, and I don't know. Like vocals are such a. I mean, I demonstrate this better than anybody. Actually, oh yeah. It's, it's, such a matter of taste you know what I mean like yeah. what ruins mm-hmm. for one person is fucking is that, that's the magic that brings someone else in uh, so I I liked this but maybe that's because this is background music for me and and like this is not an active listen for me do you know what I'm saying like yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't need the clarity of, uh, of no, this yeah, vocals yeah. at all no for me it's this is an active listen because it's so so much going on and that's why I kind of demand it to be really good. It has to be good. Sorry. Uh, the the uh, I, I'd be game for where this goes next. Uh, same recommendation I give everybody, which is dump a little bit more into the recording, see where it lands you. It doesn't work for everybody. So, I mean, look. This would clean recording without weird. Yeah, for sure. I, I'm not looking for clean. I, I guess what I'm saying is that like a lot of people are going with, and I, I, this is not to. Uh, dismiss the fucking engineer on this, but a lot of people go with who's ever closest, right? Or mm-hmm. or friends of theirs. Yeah, I, friends of theirs. Have a basement. And you know, I think that's awesome for demos. And huh. and then I really think that uh, even if you're loyal to people, this is a lesson that I've had to learn. It, it's not like you're shitting on their work. It's just that uh, at, at, it is always cool to try some new shit. Sure. You know, what I mean, so. I don't know. I uh, I probably just gave recommendations to people that have been playing in bands for 15 years, but I <laughs> I uh, I really like um, even if it fails. I like when bands try the hey let's let's dump a, let's dump a couple grand to see if it doesn't fucking blow up right. our faces. You know what I do like is when bands do it just did different recording. Try try just from a different record to a different record. You know like it's you don't hear it all the time, but. There's exam, you know, mental actually is a good example because uh, their demo and seven inch demo is its own thing, but the seven inch has a certain production value. Then they went and recorded uh, at the place that Judge recorded. Um, I think it's where they recorded Bringing It Down. Maybe it was where they were. Yeah, I think it was where they recorded Bringing It Down. Was the uh, Jamie Locke like it's up in an Oxygen Tank record? Yeah, it's in Providence, I think. Yeah, like that's where I think yeah. Leeway did all their recordings. Yep. Yeah, they went and recorded there, and that record stands out production wise. Now it's not my favorite, and I, I actually I'm like, oh man, this would be neat with a different production. But it makes you ask those questions, and it's kind of it's one of those like, hey, embrace different things. Right. I mean, it could have easily have gone like Don Fury or whatever, and you know, and it would have sounded pretty much like what they knew. So. Yep. You know, Don Fury, a weird, weird selection. Like. He was I, holding it down in Albany for a while. Troy, yeah, yeah. he was the, he was the man. I don't know if he's still out there or not, but he. Uh, I, w- <laughs> Would you go to him for sound in 2018, or would you just? Is that st- strictly because you have options and it's f- it's really fun to work with a legend? I mean, I think his sounds are probably easy, more easily recreated other, other places now. Yeah, right. You know, it's. I mean, I think a lot of people are like he recorded Grill Biscuits, yes. so we're going there. Yeah. So as you get further away from that, I don't know how much it loses its allure. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, you know, if you want to like. In the early night, like the mid '90s, he had a sound that every band that Sought was out extreme, that was like yeah. that era of post hardcore needed that bass sound and that drum sound and those vocals processed that way and that sort of thing. And it made all the records sound the same. And then in the aughts, that went away. Right. I mean, he played. Apparently, his bass amp was the size of like your laptop, and he made you play out of it. <laughs> <laughs> it was either the bass amp or the guitar. Is that and, true? That's cool. Yeah, and they were like, because uh, Indecision recorded there, I think with Artie. And it was like, no, no, you're using that. And he's like, but it's a practice amp. And it's like, that's how he gets the sounds. Like, that's it. Sorry. You know, I love that. I re- I, lo- I, I mean, like all that shit, like, the, like, like yeah. that Martin BC place that's like underneath the Gowanus. Like, you know, like the oh, du- yeah. it's like, there's like a documentary on it. It's like so fucking random. Yeah. Uh, so... How do we feel about uh, this Neuromancer record? Do we want to give this a listen? This Fuck is yeah. old, this demo. This, this yeah. kind of it's a few months old, but you've been riding for this. Yeah, one. these are my boys. I, I, well, my boy Ace, I like it, um, and I I really like it. So Ace also sings in the band Breakaway. He sings in this band, different vibe. 
I think it's only up on spot on YouTube. Back, oh. Right? Is that the vibe? Yeah. I, are these quick songs? Because this is like it, this is uh, a seven. This is about an eight minute long YouTube you know, video. Just double check and make sure that I think they might have put up a band camp. That I can't no, find, I it. find it. All right. Let's just play the first track. Let's see what happens. Uh, this is Neuromancer. Uh, not the like Swedish house uh, guy. What's the name related to? I feel like it's but is Video it from like Tron name. or something? No, I think I think it's a, a Gibson thing, a, a, a like a, a Johnny Mnemonic, Philip K. Like oh okay, I, I don't K. think Dick. I don't think it's Philip K. Dick. I think it's Gibson. Uh, the the uh, you know like where you're 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 wet jacking into the mainframe, dude. <laughs> Got it. You know. Wet jacking into the mainframe. <laughs> Is that the name of the song? No, but that'd right. be sick. Uh, we're gonna the CLP. We're gonna give this. Yeah, we're gonna give <laughs> this one. Case. We're gonna give this one a shot. Let's see how we do. Ooh. Uh oh. I don't know. So far, Just it's kind of scary. Ready? I'm. I'm not ready. Recite your baseline. <laughs> Am I catching an tag vibe a little bit? Yeah. I like the recording. Mm-hmm. Not mad at it so far. We'll see when vocals come in though. Ah, oh, definitely. Yeah. Into it. The good era integrity vibe. Something else to it, but it had, you know, in my head, I could, I was singing it, no warning. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I knew this whole time you were just an asshole. Like that's what it reminded me of. You know? Can we pick the intro? <laughs> we might pick the intro. Yeah. But that's fine. Let's this goes. I'm gonna do it. Let it ride. Right, let it ride. Right. Keep the same energy. Keep the same energy. Oh. Oh. Okay, alright. What you got for us? Dive bomb. Oh, I would've liked if I would've liked if it came in with like no dish. All that good work from the intro now pissed me off with this vocal load. What's up with this? Is that the hardest thing right now to record? Well, Vogel? Yeah. Because it's I mean, we're shitting on I think it's that's the easy. singularity. I think it used to be that you had music stuff that was harder and. Like here, it's stronger. Well. Also, these speakers aren't doing stuff. No, for sure. We should state that. that we're listening at trash speakers at the moment, so everything's suffering. But, um, Like a nice appropriate yeah. in here. Yeah. Like appropriately ignorant. Intelligent. But like for the fast kids it's not Yeah, it's not too like what no. You know what the vocals kinda of strike me at? A little bit Dan Daniel Vitteran. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Like that kind of the inflection. Not it's necessarily got, yeah. It's a little burly, it's not quite as burly as his vocals. Yeah, but that like Seven salads. Sarah. I'm wearing a Sarah. Oh shit. You've played one show so far, is that correct? Maybe two, but yeah, not many. Paul in Richmond. Yep. We want to get him up here. Did they play the Monkey Power Show? No, I don't think so. I'm feeling that. I liked it a lot. Yeah, no, I mean, I think it's a yeah. really good demo. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Recording was cool, I thought. I mean, for a demo. Uh, for you didn't what like do you want? Vo- you didn't like the vocals at the beginning as they went on. No, I mean, I, I'm, I'm... The other thing I, I'll remind is I think that it's like... Uh, think about when you're recording vocals and how different... Before you settle in. You know what I mean? And I think good engineers or good people recording that help get that stuff settled in yeah and it's a different vibe from his other band so yeah, he's way different for it, you yeah. know 
Yeah, I, I, uh, it's not that I'm particularly angry at the actual vocals. I just feel that... Uh, so vocals are... I asked the question kind of rhetorically when it was going. Um, the vocals are the easiest thing to record in the respect that uh, you could do them anywhere, right? You can do sure. them in, your, in, in a bathroom at your friend's house. You can do them anywhere now. But what I've come to understand is that straight up, you need an engineer that just abuses you and is like, do it again. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, and we're going to comp this. We're going to take the best, you know, like it, it really just helps so much. Yeah. So I don't know. I feel like, and I also feel like uh, vocals are the things that, that many people grab first in their mind. Yeah. So dump the money into it. Like just fucking like get the best possible treatment. Even if it's a wild one, like we heard on uh, innocent w where it's very intentional choices are being mm -hmm. made. I think you just got to sound like you're committing to the bit, whatever it is. A and uh, I liked Neuromancer, but I would have, I would have liked a little bit more care in the vocals. But then again, that's my, that's my beef with everybody's shit. Uh, <clears throat> Are we going to give a shot to this brand new altered state uh, uh, yeah. cassette EP, Face the Fire? Yeah. Uh, which I'm getting a lot of talk. Uh, Maybe this is the one that I was talking about on Twitter. Is that right? Okay. This that someone was talking about. I was trying to about figure about out. Yeah. This kind of got hot for a minute. Okay. Let's Just what, came out. Let's see what hot means. We're going to go. Do we go in, intro into the, into the uh, altered, state. Type, altered state? Let's do first song first. Held back. I like this album art. Like this demo, whatever the fuck we're calling it. Tape art. Tape art. Me too. The recording sounds like a warped tape. Yeah, it does. The vocals are manic. And I can't tell if it's fast or slow, the music. Okay, all those bands that are shooting me for like a throwback demo sound, I think we found one that got one. It, 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 this is like, this reminds me of a lot of, this reminds me more of demos yes. than anything that we've listened to. Where's the guitar? I think they left that on the other demo. It's <laughs> mixed as well, side B. Here, hold on. Oh, I think I found one. Yeah, hey, yeah. Oh, they're hitting us with the back and forth. I like that. Pan left, pan right. Bring it in. I like a hard pan. I love like pans. Very, very few people do. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Like when you're hearing that thing in your in your headphones, and it's like Moshport starts in the left, and then you hear the boom yeah, in the fan. right. Where, where's the where, where to go out here? Let's hear one more from them. Okay. Weird bass tone, I like it. Like a youth of today bass yeah. tone. Yeah. I can't close my eyes. Yeah, right. not as distorted as current day bass sound. No. Like it's very plucky. Yeah. Yeah, this all reminds me of Can't Close My Eyes. Yeah, even the guitar sound, yeah. Slow build. Oh, yeah. Very traditional. Yeah, without like an ounce of the actual heaviness going on. No, no, no heavy. So there's another band from Florida. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Yo, I can't believe oh, how much shit. stuff. There's so much, and like for good or bad, like they got some shit going on. And everything's different. It's cool. A lot of different stuff. Shredder. Oh, he just yelled the band name. I like that. I like that it sounds like the vocalist and the drummer are fighting. Yes, I agree. I actually like this one better. The recording almost got better. A little. It feels, I, just, I, think that, I think you found the guitarist. Yeah. yeah. The guitars are there, and I think the vocals kind of figure it out a little bit. A little less crazy. Than the, 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 yeah. And you can tell it's like a slow, like the other thing, you can tell it's fast slow. Yeah. It's almost good when band members are fighting sometimes. Yeah. Maybe 
especially the drummer, because I think drummers can get challenged. They get lazy in a way where, like, I know what I'm doing. I'm just going to do my thing. But if you challenge them, like, no, no, no. You're playing too fast. What do you mean I'm playing too fast? I know how fast I'm supposed to play this. No, no. You got, and just challenging them, it's, it's good. So Writing like, the drum beat for the drummer? That's the way to go. Uh, <laughs> a mouth beat for them. See, so, okay. Uh, I am uh, a, a no talent, so I uh, am essentially a percussion instrument. I follow drums more than I follow mm-hmm. guitar, more than I follow anything with uh, a- a- any sort of uh, uh, melody because uh, it, it is much more my nature to just uh, hear that, uh, hear that boom, 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 and just that's try to go. try to make that my voice. And I think that's what. Uh, our vocalist is doing here maybe uh, but these two men are at war with each other and uh, I I am not convinced that was successful except that it was very very much a a demo out of time like I that that could be from legitimately 1988 yes no yeah no uh, No, yeah absolutely and And that's about they're going for clearly if you told if that was a band from westchester you'd be like oh yeah yeah, 100 percent. yeah they played inside out new york and Mm -hmm. yeah Yeah. if if this was on some like uh uh blog spot that was into like lost demos and shit this could be on blogged and quartered for (laughs) sure they should have actually run a scam where they just said that this was some lost shit from you know um this this is connecticut hardcore that we never heard of uh so i wasn't in love with that uh, but uh, I gotta be honest, they did commit. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I guess, I guess. And also, there was like, there's probably five other demos we could check out from Florida for this kind of thing. Honestly, check out IOU Records, check out 86 Records, check out Plead Your Case Records. Go to their band camps, go to their sites, order their stuff. It's all really, uh, if not good, you'll find something you, that like. you like. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, is there anything else we want to check out? Uh, we're not. We're not. Did we like, get through our list. We got through our uh, the top list. Yeah, we got the through top. our top list, and now we can kind of dive in. So I was excited on that band. Uh, oh, fuck, uh, they played Louisville the other day. Uh, abuse of power. No, with abuse of power. Wise. Yeah, okay, so wise. I was psyched on just because they came so highly recommended, but then you told me that it's uh, I mean, fairly in genre let's uh, listen to material. It. Yeah, let's listen. Uh, to it. Spelled exactly like I think. Spelled or no? wise. Yep. And let me just, I can double check it here. It's wiserockca.bandcamp. Wiserockca. Yeah, there's a lot of, okay, yeah, a lot of wise. Wise. And there we go. Um, How many times do we call people sweethearts? That's funny. Who uses that? You say sweetheart? Did someone say that? Oh, Patrick, I think you say. I'll sweetheart? say that dude's a sweetheart? Yeah, 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 yeah I do too. say yeah, that. You guys both I do say, say that. that. Right. Who's, who pointed that out? I don't know, some, some commenter. Okay. You guys get the live talk here. It's getting late. Um, uh, wise, promo 18. This is like new, new. New, new. Let's give it a go. I kind of like the art. It reminds me of the uh, Burn record. A little uh, bit. Let's, let's do it. Ooh, coming in. <laughs> Recorded in uh, La Jolla. God, I love La Jolla. It's so perfect. So my, it's my so father perfect. and mother moved to San Diego in 77. And he had a rich uncle and aunt who owned property in La Jolla on the cliffs who were like, well, let us get you an apartment. Let us buy you things. And foolish pride is like a terrible thing. No, no, no. We're going to, we'll figure out a tough one to live in some podunk spot in, in San Diego. I have no pride. You put me no, in, I know. And I think years later, home. I think yeah. years later, it was like, oh, because it was like, yeah, should have stayed close with Uncle and whatever. You cannot convince me that this is intentional. What happened to his voice? So I see the music. The vocal is just so fucking weird. It sounds like he's driving. It's underneath. It's just bad production. I, I have want to assume that I'm experiencing a technical difficulty, but I can hear the guitar. It sounds like he's so arguing he's in the other room. Or we're listening to this in the other room. Yeah. This sounds like somebody's listening to this in a car with the windows up, and, I, <laughs> and, 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 and I'm across the street. Musically, I see what they're going for. 
Um, it feels like a live recording. And that's one thing to talk about now is that can you get away with this stuff in 2018? Not on Bandcamp, man. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe, like, I'm, I'm told by the, by the kids that were into it that, that demo core is over. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, for that age group, that's what you're getting. Yeah? Demo core is never over. It's just that it moved on to the next age group. You think? I think so. Eh, maybe. I don't know. Because it's always the new new. You know what I mean? I mean, people love the new new, but like... And it's, well, it's just, dude, the, there was a demo core wave at my age range, and there, they passed it. Now they just look for new wave of British heavy metal. There was a definite demo core wave of, like... What year would you say? Like 2003 or whatever? There was a demo core wave. Like, but, it was a big wave. But I mean, it's just a lot of forgettable shit that like, it got pressed to vinyl. It's, yeah, so this is taking a lot of late 80s stuff. Um, Be like a fucking altercation inside of it. Yeah, altercation. There's some like uh, I hear. A, I'm hearing some like uh, maybe some new age. You know what I mean? A little like a, early. Yeah, California like ladies. Uh, like I don't know if they'd cite it, but I'm I'm definitely hearing some new age catalog. Yeah, but it's it's fat. It's more late '80s than early '90s, but it's. Some I won't lose. I don't know. There's some good stuff there. Uh, I need to hear something better recording, and I would probably <laughs> like it. Yeah, the vocals produce a little weird. Just the whole thing. It's just how, yeah. you know, and it is just a promo. So that's the thing. Like spade to spade, I've like tons of poor recording things. So um, so wise. So, but there's another. There's a like all things. There's a wave of newer, younger bands. This is one of them from Southern California. Sweet. I think they deserve some attention. Well, let's build. Let's build it out for one second. Can you get away with it? Right mm-hmm. now, yes or no? Because so much gets put out the other way, can you get it away with it to me? Sure, because I'm all right with it, and that's why I pitch it. But I think to the I average, get lost. your average twenty year old, they might go, "I can't even listen to this. I see what you're doing, and maybe I can see you live and be psyched. But if I go home and put this on, yeah, it's hard. I'm to not listening to it again. I'm waiting yeah. for you guys to do something, and then maybe I'll remember that you were pretty good when I saw you. That's true. Uh, <clears throat> do we want to give a shout? So IOU is the uh, the the label from Florida. Is that one right? of three? Yeah. Okay, so there. This uh, is another one. This is another. Florida so we're gonna check. We're just gonna go down an IOU hole for a second because sure. maybe the, maybe they are the 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 demo core space They're now. They're part of them. So this hey. is this is field agent who have uh, some like. You know, kind of uh, crime watch esque uh, uh, art. Uh, Looks like a cross between the Enough demo and the Raw Deal demo. Ah, uh, <laughs> there you go. Okay, uh, this is song number two, Another Day. I know nothing about this. I'm going by the art. Again, just, just a, on a cool label worth checking out. How long I have you? So Demacore just migrated south. Demacore just it moves. And people who are in the prior wave of Demacore are looking at the next wave. Oh, you? This is uh, like uh, our game. Yeah. Oh, okay. I like this part. I'll be honest. I don't hate this at all. Vocals kind of bothered me a little bit. I'm with it. This is for the West Chester Demo Court. <laughs> our game. Yeah, our game. There's something else right here. It's head out in one. Yeah. Totem Oscar. Like, here's the funny thing is that Patrick 
would probably get be able to appreciate a lot of the weird like second rate and like yeah. weird demo stuff because it it has these weird qualities and quirkiness that like the more heralded late eighty stuff just were too smooth for. Oh, and mean, you might find the personality in that stuff. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I agree with you. Is that the further afield uh, that we go with this stuff, the more I'm into it. That was there was nothing out of pocket on on what we just listened to. But I, I kind of weirdly of the last few things that we checked out, I wasn't mad at that. Mm-hmm. So what do we think that Democor just moved from Baltimore down the coast? Is that what's happening? It just it just swings around, man. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's wintering. It's yeah, coming it's around. It's, there's a bunch of it in California right now. You know what I mean? So. Uh, California seems to love the demos. Yeah, it's just the the Sun Belt, man. Everybody smart's doing it. We gotta we gotta wise up. Well, uh, we do gotta wise up. <laughs> I get that. And then then count me out. We can. And get a, uh, a uh, what do you call them? A storage space, and uh, like oh. a storage lockout for. Why don't we just get three for fifty dollars a month? We've seen those videos with the guys. People living, living in them. It. We could get three. Would you live in a storage space? If I could get a shower every day, I'd live wherever. No shit. Um, That's we, really my only we, thing. We I don't give a share, fuck. We can share an identity for a gym. Yes. And do that. And yes. then we'll be yes. we'll have rotation. We're, we're planning our disappearance from the world. To Florida. I think we could get a real cheap living in. You know, we'd probably like lose our minds though from the heat being in an aluminum. You would. I would I'm I fine. would get spiritual. I would mm-hmm. it would be like doing You'll hallucinate because you're in a fucking aluminum building. It That's would be a, like a what what do you call them? Uh, like like a spiritual thing. You know I think I mean? maybe like, we need like to like offer a, California because it's a little more expensive than Florida. But the humidity's no. So let's just go. If we're going to do it, let's California. go California. California. Yeah, because yeah, Florida yeah. would kill us. So we, I think we're opting for Cali. But so, okay. So we go to um, uh, East County of San Diego yes. where everything is it, it, moderate, m- m- much cheaper yes. than fucking San Diego. Uh, we get a lockout there yep. uh, for, let's say, 80 bucks a month. Yep. Um, and You're right. You're with us. You. You're with our rent. <laughs> We live in that. And, I'll cover that. And we pay for yeah, <laughs> we, pay, we pay for the other one to both uh, uh, practice in and record demos. I'm thinking we're uh, getting uh, open from the su- the side, like not inside locker space. Mm. And we might as well just get a block at 80 bucks a month. Let's get four. Okay, fuck yeah, it. Yeah, I'm fucking knocked on the walls. Fuck it. Yeah. We uh, can break down the walls. I need my own room. You need your own room. I could, yeah. And I just need, need a shower. Room. I don't give a fuck. I will sleep in dirt. Wow. Get as me long a shower. As the shower's there. I've toured, man. Yeah. I've played squats. I've lived in squats. I've stayed in squats. Do you? Are you capable of falling asleep without showering? Yes. Okay. God bless. It, it, I mean, I've played shows you know, on tour that I'm like, I'm sweating like an animal. I'm, I'm going to bed. I'm going to be real tired when I get home, but I'm showering because I'm it, sticky. It bothers me so much to sleep encased in sweat. Yeah. You know, that what doesn't I mean? bother me. Oh. Waking up. Oh. I don't understand people that shower at night and then wake up in the morning and go to work. Oh, I can do it. I, can I do feel that. like such a dirtbag. Really? It's like I drooled all over myself for not, for oh, eight hours. Wipe your face. Fuck. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, uh, I what it. about camping? You won't camp. I've camped. Okay. You don't. I hate waking up in a tent. It's so gross. Well, I mean, I've camped, meaning like it's like there's still a bathroom down. He's there. going glamping. Uh, you gl- not <laughs> glamping per se. Like I slept outside, but I didn't have to like poo outside if I had to uh, or uh, urinate. I'm the well, I did camping. pee and I had a staring contest with a deer. But that's a whole other story. Oh, shit. I looked up and I was like. This motherfucker's looking right at me. Yeah, he's testing you. The New York and you was like, you want to yeah, go? Yeah, we going, bro? <laughs> like, let me just put this away and I'll come right at you. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, people, if you enjoyed this, send us your demos and and, uh, and new music and, and new music you like, records, etc. We're gonna try to do this somewhat regular. This is fun. Yeah, do, you know what? What about the the records that we got in the mail? Worry, yes. Um, is that online? Like, um, let's take a look. He Before didn't. We he go. actually didn't even mention it. Um, but I like to give them a shout. Yeah, let's see if we can listen to it. Is it hardcore music? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Have it. you considered I only, hardcore I music? I only listen yeah, to this, <laughs> If you music. come up to Pat on tour, uh, he might have two dates left, so whatever. Yeah. Come up to Pat on tour and ask him about Axe to Grind. He'll sneak you the limited cover of the new record, the Have You Considered Hardcore Music. That's not it. This is not it. Okay, no. hold on. We're going to keep looking. Um <clears throat> So, uh, but he'll sneak you the. Have you considered hardcore? No. Um. Mm, we're looking, everybody. We're lo- right, nah, maybe it's not up. Hold on, let me pull. Right. What about this? Is it Colorado Springs? This is the uh, danger. That's it. This yep, is the danger it. of having a name like Worry. Yeah, this you know is what I'm it. saying. We found it. How do you find it? Yeah. 
All right, hold on. I like the name. I like the. Yeah, no, it's a good name, but it's hard to googs. Yeah. All right, this is Marrow by the band Worry. Oh. You paid for the recording. Good for you. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm with yeah. you. Give it to me. Give it to me. Unless the vocals fuck it up, this is my favorite thing we've listened to. This is good. Really coherent song underneath everything that's going on. Good drummer. Oh, we just took we just took a turn for the uh, uh no. Yeah, I didn't expect the sludginess to the um, how, how it came out. Yeah, it came out the gate. Huh? huh. Yeah, I'm not mad. Still, what's going on with the bass? I like. Losing you? A little bit. When do you want the return to fast? Now or never? Um, the track before this and like seven out of the ten tracks. Oh. Like, I'm not mad at this. No, this is... It was all kind of, like, awkward transition to the slowdown, but I'm, if they can gradually pick it back up, I'm with it. Hmm. I like this, Bouncy. I'm with it. Ooh. Oh, okay. That, that ability to do the fill in sound like... Yeah. Like, I'm distorting a mic. Like, you wish you could do it? Fuck yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like have like that built-in that distortion in your voice. Yeah. Who, who have you tried and never achieved? Who have I tried to be and never achieved? Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, I don't know. Probably something, someone more singing. Morrissey? <laughs> no shit. No, but I mean, I don't know. I mean, I was going for Rob Fish and, and Zach De La Rosa. I mean, okay. I yeah. think I did all right. It came pretty close. I think you're several octaves higher, but yes. Not than Rob. Yeah, well, which era, Rob, I guess, because by, by 108 period, he's, he's, he's like mid, he's a mid-range guy, no? He sings on an indecision song, and it's hard to differentiate. No shit. How much I copy. <laughs> I mean, honestly. I also, in oh, MVP, I went for, the, for, a, for a In Flames at the Gates thing that I was trying to do. Oh, really? I didn't really do that. No. Close. I think your vocals are nothing but a strong. Yeah. I think it's my best one. Okay. I, was I like not, that a lot. Yeah, I There's was not a few mad things at it a little yeah. long, though. But they're a metal band. So I like not. where they ended up. Yeah. Here's my thing with this. Um, if this was uh, 2012, I would have thought this was maybe middle of the pack because there was so much of this going mm-hmm. on. Right now? Stands yeah. out. Yeah, this was sick. Yeah. I was with this. Um, I don't know what they're doing with this. This is uh, one song that seems to exist. Uh... It's an LP. Oh, okay. That's a, whole, that's a whole LP right there. We listen to a whole LP. <laughs> it's, it's a like, long song. It's like LP. Sleep. It's, it's like Sleep has like a full, you know, it's, it's one song. It's like 82 minutes. Okay. Uh, oh, it is a full. Yep. Yeah. Okay. F- I'd fuck with this. Who I'd put be, this out? Uh, maybe self release. Yeah, well, everybody's doing it Are these Are we days. feeding this to our friend or what? Uh, yeah, why not? Uh Share at least. <laughs> you know what? This stuff is. Share to a couple friends, actually. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, what, what do you think they do with it? Is this stuff wanted on tour right now? Like, is are people going to stuff like this? I think so. Um, you know what they need to do is they need to get out to California at least. Do do a ten day that's not going to be super fun. Yeah. No. Just it's to be play miserable. out there. Yeah. 
and get at least get a little visibility and then do what you can to get in front of people locally and then you know plan to do something again in six to eight months and just see where you're at have fun with it and try to build it up nationally so you can bring it home too I feel bad for stuff like this though that's good that it, mm-hmm. at this exact moment mm-hmm. it doesn't feel like there's enough of an audience like there, no like, no you're, you're you, not wrong you put this up digitally and if it catches the right va- if it catches the right wave people will listen mm-hmm. but I don't know if there's scenes of this outside of a few major market spots. Do you right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, yeah, I feel like this might have this might do well in Philly. Yeah, sure, you know? sure, sure, sure. You plug in with the right the kids there. This goes well there. Yep. Uh, you know, maybe Pittsburgh too. Oh. Uh, you know, I I don't know. I, th- this is like a weird lane because I got I got burnt out on this style. Yeah. Uh, and never wanted to look back. But having just heard this, I was pretty satisfied. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. All right. Uh, anything we want to go out on? Anything we want to talk about? No, feeling good. Yeah? Like like doing listening parties. Um, we've got some more specific ones. This one was rotating in, but this was the try to see if we could do a grab bag. Right, and people stuff. always ask like, where we find stuff and how, and, and they've kind of utilized this to get into newer and older music. Yeah. yeah and so this we'll is kind of, back and forth. hopefully this will be a, a, like an entry point for some people onto... Into some of the uh, the great music that's happening in hardcore across the country. Wow, <laughs> I liked everything I heard today. It's, no, that's not true. There, there was nothing. There was nothing that was offensive to me. No, no. I've heard some terrible demos in my life. There was nothing that I listened to today that I was like, "What?" I, the I, you know, the Wise demo was definitely like. Yeah, that was that was not that was underwhelming. It, it was an aggressive. I feel like I've heard better from that band. Maybe their real demos better. I don't know. It was, well, that's the other thing, right? Is like 2018. You'd think like everything's available digitally. Fuck it, I'm just gonna put up anything that comes out. Anything that comes out of this band, why not put it up? And listen, you know that's been my attitude, even committed to vinyl for yeah. my yep. bands. But like, I don't know. Now my feeling is like, people check you out. If they don't like that shit. They keep it moving. You know what I mean? And and like, if they pick the wrong thing, yo. I think that happens to your band. It happens to my band a lot. Yeah, a lot. And I can't uh, at this juncture. I can't help it because it's out there. I'm addicted. I'm addicted to the releases. But you actually you have, you've been quiet for a minute, and you got a couple full lengths coming out. Do you have plans for more stuff already? So my contract uh, with Run for Cover uh, in it, we're allowed five between LPs. Okay. But we're supposed to have LPs out a year apart from each other. Yep. So five is a fucking lot. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, that. That would be that's them being nice. Like right, it is. Man, you'll it just is. Do whatever. It is. Um, but. I uh, we've got two fully record. We got three fully recorded, so we should get those out at some juncture. Um, but it'll hurt when somebody listens to something that we dumped a lot of money into, and then they listen to something that we recorded because we were in town someplace, and we just wanted to get one off because mm-hmm. th- that's how we yeah, roll. For that or something. Yeah, and yeah. It, that that kind of sucks that people, but people do do that. And uh, shout out to all the demo bands that are being judged on the same yeah. <laughs> same uh, principle. Uh, this has been another episode of Axe to Grind. Uh, let us know if you like the the listening parties. Uh, hit us at Axe to Grindcast on Twitter and check Axe to Grind Podcast at gmail dot com. There you and go. And our Facebook. By the time you hear this, it'll be up and running. Oh, mm-hmm. sure. like even stronger than it is. Okay, oh, it's, I, it's been crazy. I can't believe how many people are on Facebook. <laughs> We're yeah. on there chatting all the time. No, no one really does Facebook. No, no my, a lot like, of my, people do. Do they? It, yeah. it, it, here's what's insane. I feel like our Twitter is our main. It oh, is, yeah. but a lot. But like the number, the the stats are outrageous. The number of more people who actually do use Facebook versus Twitter, and I kind of lean to say, well, no, that's not real for hardcore. Yo, it's still real. Still. Uh, I, I right. think I also know that I had a meeting the other day where someone to check a band's strength went straight to fucking Facebook. And it blew Weird. my mind because I, and they did all this shit where they're like, okay, let's check it out. They've got 10,000. Mm, not that impressive on Facebook. Let's see what their engagement is. And I'm like, mm-hmm. holy yep. fuck. Who thing. the fuck? I haven't gone on to Facebook. To see the in, ratios and all that shit. I haven't shit. gone on mm-hmm. Facebook in three years. I have no yep. idea what it even nope. fucking looks like. You know what I mean? So like downloading the Facebook app so we can do the Axe to Grind one. So because yeah. maybe give me a reason to think this is cool. Yeah, <laughs> I'll stay more on top of it. I've, yeah. 
neglected like, my you, duty. It's, I find it repellent. Like the actual layout of the fucking thing is yeah, like I, I, it feels it feels like from another time. It does, place. right? Yeah. It feels like I'm dealing with my fucking friendster. Um, all right. Undies uh, only. Make out clear. Undies only. Uh, Saddam518 on Soulseek. Uh, on Soulseek. Re- reach out That's to me. That's where he wants you to add him. Yes, please. I'll share that new push of tea with you. <laughs> uh, everybody have a good one. Stay safe. Uh, as you hear this, I'm currently on tour. Uh, if I shit talk to your band, let's not get into it, dude. You know what I mean? Let's all have a good time. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>